Hi everyone, you're all very welcome to our introductory dashboard uh, video. So in this video, we will take you through all of the account metrics, how to, I suppose, maximize your performance um, and get the most out of your trading plan and strategy that you're currently implementing. And um, before I begin, I would obviously very like to welcome everyone to the community and thank you in advance for signing up to the uh, Alpha Capital Group funded program. So to begin, when you um, log in and when you sign in, you'll be confronted by this account metric screen. Now, if you haven't already traded, generally speaking, everything will be blank. It'll be blanked out. There'll be no information feeded here. There'll be nothing up here in the daily summary and everything will be blank, okay? And um, there'll be empty data. Okay. Um, if you are trading proactively as you open and close positions, as you trade, as the performance becomes kind of realized, um, the, the data will obviously be reflected here and your account metrics will be developed accordingly. Okay. So generally as a rule of thumb, um, as a guy who's kind of rocked in risk and finance and investments um, for many, many years, I would kind of recommend people that from a trading perspective, after kind of every 20, 25 trades, have a sit down, look at your performance and see if there's anything that you're kind of doing wrong or if there's anything that you can maybe maximize or improve to help you obviously uh, become a little bit more consistent with your trading if things are going well and you're being profitable well that's even better okay so from our side we want to help you get the most out of your trading maximize your performance build that consistency build that discipline um, and then of course with this data it helps you to do exactly that so here in this example we've just picked a random account um we can see here, obviously, that the account metrics, so the equity, the balance, quantity of trades, orders, um, win rate, etc. cetera. Um, at the very bottom part, we obviously have the average profit, average loss, and the average risk reward. So basically what that says on average for every winning trade, this is the amount that you tend to get for the average loss. This is also the, the loss that's incurred in your account. So the average risk reward here on this one is almost one to two, showing that each person's winner, albeit he's a less than a 50% success rate, he's proven to be quite successful because his profits are are twice his average loss. So that's obviously building that consistency, building that discipline and building the, the rate return. Um, so it's all about optimizing the rate of return in trading. Okay. Um, so in this as well, we've got obviously our trading objectives. So these will filter through. So minimum trading days, your profit target, how far you are from it. Um, and of course the loss and maximum daily loss. So of course, factor in every day because this daily loss will change comparative to your um, balance. So I suppose just keep an eye on that. Um, so obviously with equity and balance, people obviously get mixed up between the two. So it's important that you're clear. So the maximum daily loss will be focused here as well. So do recommend people to tune into that just so you're aware. So obviously, you know, your maximum daily exposure. And as a result, you're not allowing yourself to breach um, or, or kind of oversee or kind of supersede the um, maximum daily loss and obviously failing the account or failing the challenge. So beyond the program objectives we, in the account metrics screen, we have insights. Okay. So it gives us a little bit more detail. So assets traded, contracts, etc. cetera, um, accordingly. Okay. So it has all the details. If you you hit the risk insights, it obviously goes a little bit more. So it looks at concurrent trade lots per day, uh, trade and lots per day in a normal sense. And of course, the lots per trade. So how and how heavy are you entering the market when you execute trade? So that from a risk perspective, that's obviously quite good as well. So if I was overseeing risk uh, in any sort of hedge fund, I would be kind of looking at this, your volume, your trade size, positioning sizes, and of course, your exposure to the markets is ultimately important as well. Now, in addition to that, then we obviously have trade journal which is in this section here is your trading activity. Okay. Um, so you have all your ins, your outs, so your positions executed, your closed trades, your lot sizes, entries, exits, and of course your TPs and profit targets. So obviously that factors in as well. So you can see as the trades populate, the data and information will circulate onto the metric screen as well. So you'll be able to look at that as well. Okay. And then of course, last but not least is the account info. So your account number, uh, trading account number, your passwords, details associated with your email address, et cetera, will filter in there as well. All right. Um, so then on top of that then is the um, account analysis. So just going a little bit more is the account analysis. So this is a little bit of a deeper dive. We look at balance curves. We look at average profits, losses, et cetera. Again, um, final evaluations and of course then general stats. So it looks at the long short balance. So the ability of how you are long compared to short in the market. So if you prefer to be, some traders prefer to buy rather than sell. Some will do either or both and some will prefer to sell. So it obviously breaks that down so you can kind of look at um, at, a, at an average perspective, your performance. So you can see here the short bias 
is is better um, from an average profit. But from a results perspective, the bigger wins are occurring on the buy trades. Also, this trader has played 47 long trades and 24 shorts. So you can compare the uh, win rates, success rates, profitability, etc. Longs v shorts and so on. Okay. And um, then obviously results by day breaks it down each day. Is there any particular day of the week that maybe uh, your trading doesn't go quite well? So at least you're aware of that. So let's say if it was a Wednesday or Tuesday that your performance was poor or maybe not so good, you can then assess and say, well, on Tuesdays, I don't generally trade too well. So I'm, I'm going to maybe not go too heavy on a Tuesday. I'm going to limit my downside exposure. So I'm not maybe creating undue losses for myself. Of course, look, if you're getting trade entries and your analysis is giving you entries, of course, stick with your trading plan. That's what we always um, recommend and, and kind of advise or kind of uh, tell people to do. Always be stick with your trading plan because that's obviously what works for you. Um, but this just allows you to see, to track your performance, to track your metrics, to see if there's anything you can improve on. Um, Along with that, we have the long and short bias. So if there's any particular trades you're long, if you're short, um, it also determines that, like, for example, here, the S&P 522 trades results is negative 2279. So quite mixed performance here in the uh, in the S&P 500 and also very mixed performance in the USD CAD. So there's two contracts there that I can see that the performance hasn't been that great on comparison to the likes of uh, likes of some of the other ones. So for example, the NASDAQ has done quite well. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other SPX 500 contract. So this was obviously the rollover between liquidity um, as well. So obviously just being aware of that because one, obviously the pro accounts as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course, then the trading days analysis. So we've obviously got positive negatives, been able to assess that results by position size. So you can break that down as well. Okay. That's obviously quite important. And of course, then trade duration. So if there, is there specific times of the day that maybe things aren't going well? So maybe if you have a good morning and obviously you're trading in the afternoon and things don't go well. So maybe the common theme would be there after 5 p.m. you stop trading, okay? Because you tend to give more profits back. So again, insight allows you to look at all aspects of the metrics here, all right? So here, for example, I can see on this one between pretty much between six and 12. So between anything between the end of the Asia close, very, very early morning up until 12 is basically a dead start. So what we, I would be kind of saying to someone here that, right, if you're showing this is that, well, your metrics are showing here that you don't do quite well in the morning, but you do quite well in the afternoon. So I would be saying maybe ease off in the morning trading and focus more on the afternoon. And you can see that there, 12 after 12 midday, 122 trades, 9,650. So you can see how the difference in styles there as well. So it's important to be aware of that. And of course, then by error, is there certain errors of the day that maybe things aren't going well? For example, uh, if we look at 6 a.m., two trades, average loss 2 a.m. or 2,000, um, one o'clock. So the lead up into the session open, not not so good. So one into two, negative loss of 3.8. But then you can see here in the evening time, six, five, six, seven o'clock has been fairly good. Now, obviously six wasn't great on average, but seven was very, very good. So you can kind of break that down uh, to relevance to you. So that is the account analysis. So the analysis and metrics allows you to maximize performance, maximize the efficiency. And as we say, get the most out of it because we want people to be passing. We want people to be getting funded because obviously when you make money, it helps the business because it helps the profitability of the business. And, we, and we're looking for longer term um, relationships, longer term partnerships with traders, building that consistency, not just for three weeks or one month or whatever, building it through the live funded program till you get funded through the evaluations, through the verification. Mm -hmm. And then of course, over six, 12, 18 months, 24 months. And that's what we're looking for, building that consistency. And then again, with that as well, we've got obviously the payment screen. So if you're looking to mm -hmm. buy a challenge um, or get a free trial, you can do so in this screen as well. So of course, we have all the different um, rules and stuff there as well. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, allowing you to, I suppose, grow the account consistently. Now, of course, on the pro trials, maximum funding up to 2 million as well. So just bear that in mind. If you want to kind of build sustainability consistency, you can do that here with us because we can allow the scaling programs. We can allow the, the plan for you to build as, as we grow, you can grow as well. And that's very much what we're looking for. So then again, below the payments tab, we have the competitions. So every month we won, we run a free competition um, for all our members and for anyone who's free to join. Bit of fun, but the competition is very much geared towards the the challenges, the verification process, and obviously the live funding environment where you have maximum drawdown limits, you have total drawdown limits. Um, if you uh, exceed those, you're out of the game, you're out of the competition. We also want to make it fun, but we need to make sure it's as as relevant 
as possible to the live environment. So obviously it's not a case of, yeah, look, it's not a case of who can maximize it and go and absolutely mental with the, with the position sizing. But at the same time, keep your discipline, keep your position size accordingly, grow your accounts gradually. If you win, you win. That's great. If you don't, that's fine. We, we're, we're running monthly competitions. We have spot prizes um, every month as well um, for kind of below the kind of the top three as well. Um, so we're just kind of looking at that as well. So we've got ongoing competitions, ended competitions. And of course we have our leaderboards. So you can check the performance. You can check the leaderboards and see who's on top. Um, and of course, um, how people are going. So top in top individual here, um, obviously doing quite well. If you view details, you can obviously see the the equity flow very, very well, very, very aggressive month, but he's done exceptionally well. So it's all about building that consistency. The last but not least then within our final two elements is the trade made section, which is all our kind of additional um, bits of information to help you. So we've got our screeners for stocks, equities, cryptos. Um, so for example, filter through uh, cryptos, uh, kind of the performance, 24 hour performance, et cetera, um, kind of assessing that. Um, it obviously has the stocks, it has the cryptos as well, it has the FX markets as well. So if we go Forex, you can see that there as well, factors true. The second then is the market overview. So that's just a quick kind of overview, kind of popular gains, losses. So reserve rights um, is actually doing quite well this morning, 13.25%. If you were to go to the stocks, you would say Tesla, obviously, a popular one is not doing too well, but if, if you look at the biggest gainers, uh, the biggest gainers is Avenue Therapeutics, which is up a massive 3,339%. I'm really not sure what's happening there on that one. Um, but again, interesting one. And another one, Sparrow Therapeutics, also up very, very modest, probably in, in, in relevance because they're probably similar sector. If you look at losses, <clears throat> biggest losses, 33%. So some of them as well. And of course, you can filter by stocks. You can filter by Forex. So biggest gainers, the dollar, against mostly emerging markets. So the South African Rand is up quite heavily. Hungarian Forint is up quite heavily. And against and against losers then, your pound. Your, your cable is the heavily, heavily sold off today. And of course, pound dollar, pound Hong Kong dollar, and pound CAD all heavily sold off as well. Last one then I would say is the Forex matrix. Okay, so it looks at the prices, but we also have a heat map. Okay, so you can do it via heat map to assess the overall performance. So we can say today that um, the yen is broadly weaker after yesterday's impulse, um, but the dollar is the strongest one by miles. Okay, it's it's up against the euro, it's up against the yen, it's up against the Aussie, it's up against the rest of them, okay, broadly speaking. And then, of course, the last one then is the ticker tape. So the ticker tape then is just a quick um, preview. So if you're looking for certain asset classes or whatever, and then, of course, it breaks it down by indices, Forex, commodities as well. Again, as much information as possible. So commodities, we've got energy, we've got agriculture, and we've got our metals. Okay, so all the different array of commodities. And then, of course, the indices, you can see, broadly speaking, indices, we're all down, right? US is trading lower. Um, of course, we've got our Europe and emerging uh, Middle East, sorry, should I say, is also lower quite heavily. In fact, some of them are nearly down 2%. Um, Europe as well, broadly, and um, they're all doing. Russia is the only one that's actually up at the moment, and of course, then we have the uh, Asian uh, markets, Asian markets. So we've got Australia's tied in with that, and uh, Malaysia, Thailand, uh, Hang Seng, and Hong Kong, um, and of course, then we've got other ones like um, the Nikkei. We've got the Nifty in India and uh, New Zealand, and of course, then the last ones then is the Chinese ones. So the Chinese ones are marginally lower as well. And then obviously not to exclude the Latin American ex exchanges as well, mm -hmm. uh, or indices. So then on top of that, then we've got the trade journal. So if you add in, add in anything specific to yourself, trade journal wise, you can do so here. Any notes, comments on particular trades, brilliant. Economic calendar, okay. So the economic calendar is for your news and events, uh, whether it's Forex, um, cryptos, stocks, et cetera, you, you name it, we've got it. Um, so with the cryptos as well, like if you're, if you're crypto or you're into cryptos, like for example, yesterday, Cardano's hard fork. Okay. Um, so it's all about assessing this as well and trying to maximize. So for the Forex calendar, you can go by high, low, or medium impact, and then you can tailor the countries or currencies that you're looking for specifically. All right. Um, so that's obviously an important one. And then, of course, last but not least is the market news. So if you are a short-term trader and you follow news and fundamentals, so for example, central bank meetings, uh, the Bank of Japan intervention, what's going on in, in Europe at the minute with the oil and gas issues, um, you can obviously get the latest news here as well. 
So the final element then is the uh, affiliate marketing section. So if we go to affiliate marketing, you can see there very, very quickly. This is if, if you have a sub community and you are looking to maybe promote us with your community, we do allow for our partnerships as well. So um, obviously this example here, um, we can see it just as an example that uh, we do offer commissions for anyone who's maybe introduced introduce us to their community to obviously grow our community uh, of profitable and sustainable traders as well. So within that, we obviously have the affiliate marketing section. The last element then is obviously our support. So the support then is very, very important because if you need to raise a query or there's something that's maybe wrong um, or maybe there's an issue you're having, we want to obviously know about it. We want to be able to solve the problem and get you back um, to um, kind of where you are. So from our perspective, that's ultimately kind of what's important here. Um, we do also have our Discord community as well. So if you if there's anything really, really urgent, you can also find us there as well if you need to raise a ticket or raise a question or anything like that because we are on hand in our public Discord community as well. That's pretty much our um, dashboard overview and, and kind of break, breaking everything down for you. Of course, um, very best of luck with your trading career. Um, with us and um, trading program with us and of course if there's ever anything you need please do feel free to reach out to us thank you